We're very proud, this being the 21st year of an event, a national event, hosted by the Solar Car Challenge. We're excited because over those years we've seen the growth of the teams, their capabilities, the solar cars getting better all that time. I'm impressed because you're seeing 32 teams saying they wanted to do this race. We think 21 will qualify, and that's twice as many that has ever done a cross-country race with us. We have 161 schools in 32 states taking part in this and 400 other schools and a waiting list to come into the program. <laughs> Why? Because this is a top project-based STEM initiative in the country and we're very proud of that. We're proud of Texas Motor Speedway's support to make this all happen. Today has been a, a bit of a somber day here because we're dedicating this to the men of the blue. We had the honor of the blue day because of the events that's taken place here in Dallas, but also because of the wonderful support we have from local police, county sheriffs, and highway patrols to make our event possible. There is not one jurisdiction we go through where we don't have the support of the local chief of police, the county sheriff, or the director of the highway patrol. They're excited to be a part of this and we're pleased to honor them by honoring them. Well, this is going to be the third year we're racing this certain car. We've been doing a lot of adjustments with it this year. Uh, one of the major things that we improved this year is we replaced the front two spindles on there to get more roll in the car. And there's always been struggles whenever we've out and tested it, because whenever we go out and test it, a lot of things malfunction and break. So then we have to problem solve and fix it on the spot, which is very good challenge. 